Hello friends, today we are out thrifting and antiquing. So there are still lots of Christmas items around and about. And this is one of my favorite thrift stores to go to. So many cute items. They always change what sticker color is on sale. So today the blue was 50% off and orange 75% off. But some adorable Christmas pieces. That little bird was just really cute and i think it would have honestly matched my decor this year but i didn't pick it up and these little dresses and outfits are so cute for my little girls but i've already got some christmas dresses cloth napkins are something i use in my home all the time but we are not hosting anything for christmas this year and so i did not end up purchasing these but the holly and ivy napkin set was so cute and then all these little santa candles i mean those would even be a good gift to give to somebody i don't have any sets of christmas mugs but this one really drew my eye and of course it did because it is a false graph so i probably should have picked that up and maybe if it's still christmas time when i make it back to that thrift store i will because 350 for a set of six is a really good deal this cute little nativity set what adorable stockings as well i mean there's just so many cute christmas things that i could have picked up but i just want to still keep it minimal and this little tree oh my goodness just that little it looks homemade to me even but just like i said lots of adorable christmas pieces and of course regular items as well so I love looking for old pictures and wash basins. $10.50 for this seemed like a really good price, but it was too large for what I was looking for. And I already found one for one of my friends who um, I had been looking for one this summer. Of course, milk glass is something that draws my eye as I used to be a milk glass collector. I am not anymore, but these were some different pieces that I had not seen before. So fun little things to catch my eye. I can never pass up looking at books and old cookbooks and ideal books because those are always great ways to find inspiration. pass up looking at baskets either and this one was really cute um, I think it was 550 for that basket it would be great to put a gift in or to decorate with or put a small load of like baby laundry in or something like that but I always keep an eye out for some good sturdy baskets all right this is to the antique store and I love looking at old chairs I've found a few in my antiquing thrifting time so I just like have keep my eye out for that and I just always perusing um, wood pieces. There's some modern and some handmade and some new pieces in some of these antique booths as well. But I like how a lot of the booths mix the old with the new. So that's what this booth seemed to have as well. So this is the reason I went to this antique store was this booth. This was the affordable booth. I've showed a haul of some items I found from here before and I did pick up these two kerosene lamps because that is a really good deal for them. Um, it was picked over this booth and so I'm wondering if this lady's downsizing or if she's just not restocking. But if you are near the Sioux Falls area, it's I-29 Antiques, and this was a great stop and a really fun place to visit with all the different booths and the different um, items that people have. All right, skates, so cute for Christmas. Um, I did pass those up, but you know, if they're still there, I would possibly go back and buy them for $12.
copper kettles are always something I keep my eye out for because they're fun to collect and things I like to resell too. But this booth is one where the lady was actually setting up so I was able to visit with her and just kind of fun to connect with another person who likes vintage and antique decor and home pieces as well. This glass Christmas tree drew my eye as I have a collection of three or four of those and I use them in my cottage decor if you missed that video. And then just some cute little knick-knacky pieces in this booth, some old utensils and um, yeah, just some fun things. And I like how each booth had a little bit of Christmas in each section and gave me a little inspiration for possibly next year, some things I can keep my eye out for. Alright, so I am back from a little bit of thrifting and some antiquing and I have a few things. I did find some good antiques and especially at that booth where things are so affordable like 49 cents, 89 cents, stuff like that and you saw me look at a few things. So I'm going to start with those and then um, I did purchase a few clothing items as well that I'll share with you, have a, like a little try on but you will have also hopefully seen a winter capsule wardrobe or will be seeing the winter capsule wardrobe in the next video but um yeah there's some things that i purchased for that as well all right so i got this really adorable 49 cent um or kerosene lamp and it does have a crack right there i didn't realize that and the wick probably needs replaced but for 49 cents that was so cute and adorable and I can put it in my antique booth up at an antique store there's a vintage like little red stars on there um, it's a little rusty but it just like I don't even know the wick does still it still works to move the wick up and down if you've noticed lately I've been finding a lot of kerosene lamps but I think they're just so they're so vintage nostalgic and um, people are looking for them so I found this 49 cents All right, this one I want to be a little cautious with. Um, it's very rusty here. It has a like tinted stained glass part at the top. There is a wick still in it and it just needs some cleaning up. It has like some beveled little dots all over the bottom part here. Um, it does move still, that's good to know, but it definitely has been burned before. So this was $5.49 for this lamp and I'll put it again probably in my booth um, because like I said people are looking for them and I couldn't pass up buying one for $5.49 like that's unheard of so I was excited to find that and like I said they're just nice to have on hand for you know you never know when and also to decorate with to put in resale to put in a booth things like that okay the last thing at that antique store I was at I bought some of these soaps actually. Uh, you saw me look at that lady's booth, but you, I didn't show you the soaps. It was, um, the booth name was Oopsie Daisy. So it's homemade soaps. They were two for $6, which is so affordable. And they smell so good. It's a lemongrass scent for this one. She had lots of different scents. Some Christmassy ones like apple cider, um, a berry one, uh, some other just seasonal like spring rain, things like that but she was actually setting up at her booth and so yeah she makes all these homemade and I asked her what they're made of so like coconut oil essential oils things like that so I'm glad it's a natural soap bar and it smells so good they're nice to put in like your linen closet and your uh, sheets or in your towels put them in drawers and they just make things smell so good and it's not like a harmful scent that you have going in there so also makes great gifts especially when it's two for six dollars that's a really affordable price for a homemade bar soap okay at the thrift store I found these I put these in my booth as well I also have a few in my home they were 350 a piece but orange tag 
was 75% off. So she gave me add on together for $7. So um, minus $5.25. So they were $2.75 for both of these. And they're both a little bit different. One, one says Hemingway 10. They're a cute little stuff. And then this one is Made in USA. Has another like little beveled on the bottom little glass piece there. So I thought those would be fun to add to my booth or they're really cute to decorate with for Christmas. I like to pick these up canisters up for gifting or for even storing things in my own home. Like I can store coffee pods in there. I can gift homemade like cookie mixes in there, um, cookies in here. This was a dollar, so it's a Christmas one. I think it might just, it's from Anchor Home Collection. So I don't know if they sell these at Walmart or not, but for a dollar, I thought, okay, I'll buy it and I will be able to use it for sure this um, in my home or for um, gifting. And then I did get one kid's book for my little girls. It actually still has the CD in it, which is really cool. It's called Skippy John Jones Snow What. So I hadn't really looked through it too much. I will definitely look through it before I let them have it because I want to make sure it is appropriate. But for 50 cents, I thought I could. Our library takes donations too, so I could donate it too if it is not one that I think is appropriate for my girls either. Okay, to the clothes. First one are some maternity jeans I actually have on, so I'll insert a little clip that I have here of what um, I'm wearing them, and so trying them on for you. These pants were $4.50, and they were a blue tag, which was 50% off, so minus $2.25, so they were $2.25 for these really nice denim jeans that will hopefully go with me throughout the maternity um, time here that I have left until May, I guess. All right, and then I found, i had been looking for some like turtleneck type sweaters. You'll see I have kind of a black gray theme going on here. That's just what I feel like I am liking right now. This was $5.50, not on sale. It is a small medium, which I'm usually a small before pregnancy, but it's so oversized, I know it will grow with my belly and it'll be great through the winter season until I hit that spring season when I don't want sweaters on anymore. But it is the Blue Ivy Young Contemporary Company. Just such an adorable sweater. It's got kind of like a cinch at the bottom but it's very long and the sleeves are cinched halfway down too. So just really, really adorable. I really like that look especially um, I don't wear the high-waisted pants right now <laughs> being um, pregnant and so I can't tuck shirts into them. So like longer sweaters are great for that. Like this one, I wasn't sure I'm picking up, but it was an orange tag, 550, so it was 75% off. So I paid like a dollar twenty for this. It has a zipper like for pockets here. It does have a little dirtiness on it right here, but I think it's just food. So I'm going to um, wash that off. And it is the it's our time brand and it's just like this one kind of the material that I have on however this one is uh getting too small for me so I knew this one being a large would grow with my belly as well and I just really like like the cozy sweaters to wear around the house with a nice skinny jean or I wear it over a dress you'll see that in my capsule wardrobe as well all right finally last piece for you this is just a maternity green long sleeve. It was a blue tag as well, so it was $2.25, not $4.50. And it is Gap Maternity. I just like having these to go with the vest, go under some other long sleeves, um, or go under like a sweater if I wear a sweater with it. So that is my haul for you folks. I hope you enjoy coming along with me, seeing a lot of Christmas decor still, which is fun. This is probably time. Uh, when thrift stores and antique stores are trying to get rid of some of their Christmas decor to go shopping, right? But anyways, I hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day, and I will talk with you in my next video. Bye.